because my wife is on vacation this week, I could basically record this week's vlog wherever I want. But you know, the best place is of course, as always here. What's up everyone, Simon Beck here with another vlog episode. Today we want to talk about backend as a service. Because when I got started, um, let's say a few years ago, at that point after university I had some basic Java skills and then I learned some iOS skills about Objective-C and later Swift. But none of these didn't really help me to build an API or I actually wasn't uh, sure about what an API was back then. Also, of course, I was not interested in writing 600 files in Java Enterprise just to have a single endpoint. At that time, Firebase was really hyped, also along with Parse from Facebook. But I think you have heard it, it should be like two or three years ago that Parse shut down. Um, then there were other services like backend with an end symbol. I think they were from Israel. Um, I even wrote an, a guest post on it, but I think a few months later they were broke. So I'm really sorry for that. I enjoyed their services as well. But Firebase continues to be one of the biggest players in that field. It is now backed by Google. And if you haven't heard about Firebase, let's take a look today at what Firebase got to offer and why it is so awesome. Before we dive into the video, please make sure that you give it a like below this video and also subscribe to the channel in order to get all fresh and latest content. I really enjoy all your responses, so thanks for your support. I enjoy the questions you have, um, so please leave them below the video, subscribe, hit the bell button. I really enjoy Firebase for a lot of reasons. First of all, uh, you can get started for free with a basic plan that is really awesome in the beginning. Um, then over time they have developed so many features uh, as you can see on this page it is actually I think I haven't even used all of them um, a lot of them are pretty new or sometimes not working with the SDK that I'm working on but just to highlight a few key features first of all we got user authentication um, you can define or simply enable sign-in methods like the email password, uh, the OAuth with Google, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um, simply enable it and then inside your app you just need a few lines using the SDK from Firebase to get the sign-in working and then boom, you got user authentication in your application. Then next part, the database. Um, establishing all the SQL database connection and then the database um, and then the mapping of objects to the database or if you're using MongoDB or some other no SQL database you know that you got to define some things within Node.js to access your data to write the data with Firebase it is so easy to access the Firestore database and with the right packages you get a real-time connection to the database so you write to the database and immediately the change is reflected in your app I can also show you in a second in an app that I just did then on top of that, you can make your database secure by applying rules to different uh, parts of the database. These are a bit more complex, but still you can use them to protect your data in the best possible way in your database. Okay, next part, you got the storage. So if you need to capture images or other files, you can easily upload them directly to Firebase. And because everything is basically connected, you can uh, upload it to storage and then you can use the data that you get back from storage to write to the database and later read from the database to access storage. So I think you understand what I want to tell you. And all of this still for free in the beginning. We got the hosting tab. Um, if you're working with Ionic or maybe just um, we could even have a static page or something, um, you can connect your app to Firebase, have hosting set up basically in minutes, you get a free SSL certificate assigned. You can later still install your own domain that points to the Firebase servers, but everything is configured really, really easy. We got the functions tab. Functions are a way to um, trigger code uh, in the cloud once something happens inside your database, which is really cool. 
or another way is basically also to define API routes, which I haven't done so much with Firebase uh, until now, but the other part, uh, which is about reacting to changes inside your database is really, really powerful. So just imagine uh, you have a chat application, somebody pushed the message to your database, and then you want to send out a push message to all your users. You can easily catch this with a cloud function that you deploy to Firebase. Um, it reacts to a new message and informs all the users of a chat. Oh, and did I forgot to tell you, you can actually also set up um, cloud messaging directly inside Firebase. So you can set up even iOS and Android applications in here. You don't need any other service. You can simply push out the messages through Firebase to the users of your application. So these are the basic functionalities of Firebase. Then you got uh, a lot of other analytics. You got quality like crash analytics, performance and test lab, uh, growth with um, in-app messaging, remote configurations where you can test different uh, like pricing strategies for your application. You got dynamic links, uh, you got split testing. Not all of them is working in all the SDKs. So some parts are just working in iOS or Android native SDKs, but I'm pretty sure at one or another point in the future, most of this will also work in the web SDK that most of you are using within Ionic. If you haven't used Firebase before, maybe it's for a reason like you work in a corporate job or you respect the privacy of users. I know that in a corporate environment, tools like this where the data is hosted somewhere in the cloud are problematic. But if you're in a more agile environment, a more flexible environment, um, if you're not too much scared about the data and trust Google or if you're not from Germany in general, then Firebase is a great alternative to building a backend because you don't need any code. Um, everything you've seen here um, or in general the backend part like authentication, database and all this stuff is already working there and you can connect to it with your front end immediately. So developing a server normally takes time. A lot of boilerplate code needs to be added if you're using Java or Python, Ruby, Node.js, whatever it is, it always takes time. Let me just show you one quick example of what I just recorded uh, up front before I made this video to show you what's possible with Firebase. Here's an example of what I mean. I just created this for one of the Ionic Academy courses on Firebase roles, authentication and all of this. We got to view an application with two different views based on the user role. So we got a user uh, area, we got an admin area and both of these are connected with a real-time database. The user is able to create new tickets in the list and then these tickets will also be shown immediately in the admin area. The admin can then open or fix the tickets and this change to the status is also immediately reflected to the data. All of this is connected through the database and the different setup of permissions, roles and of course some Angular code regarding uh, directives and other guards and other logic. So as you might have heard, I'm a huge fan of Firebase. I've used it in multiple side projects just because it is free in the beginning, it is super easy to connect. You got all the basic functionalities in place and you can later on still scale if you plan to grow. So while I know that is pretty cool and what it can do, I haven't seen that many applications or um, people claiming that they're using Firebase for their application. So if you did, um, maybe post a link to your application below this video and let us know uh, if you enjoyed using Firebase or if you haven't used it, why you didn't use it so far. If you want to, I can also cover different elements of Firebase in the next videos and I still got the recommendations from the old vlog. So hopefully I can create all those videos before I go on vacation in about four weeks. Uh, maybe we'll have a little break then. But so far, thanks a lot for all the support. We're now close to 20,000 subscribers. I'm super happy about this. I really am. I'm super excited. And I'm also grateful for all the great comments that you have left below the videos. If you got any questions about these videos or other things that you want to see or you're interested in, always keep them coming. I enjoy it really, really a lot. So thanks again for your time and attention this week. Um, looking forward to all the comments this week and the all interaction with you. Maybe we will also have a little less code heavy and more, I don't know, um, 
more casual video next week again if you got any questions for that just let me know and then this week as always um, try out something new maybe this week try firebase give it a try with your preferred language build something great with code and as always happy coding Simon